Welcome to Bamber's Pinkies. Let's learn how to color a template tutorial. We're going to make this under five minutes so that way in the next five minutes you're going to learn how to make your own colored template and maybe get on your way to producing clothes in Second Life. All right, let's start by going to open and making sure you go into where your templates have been saved at. So we'll just kind of go in here, jump down, and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to tent a tank top. Go ahead and open that. There you go. If you notice, it's on a transparent background. The first thing you need to do is open up a new layer so you're not coloring on the original template. Choose a color. I'm going to go with pink, your bucket tool. Fill it in. You notice you have a solid pink box now. Then you want to go over here to this arrow that is in your layers channels pass and you want to click the arrow on the right side go down to the drop down menu click on the button overlay if you notice now I have a pink layer over top of the template that is how you color close now instead of reopening and opening things you can choose different colors I'm gonna go with red this time see and I like to make mine a little bit darker so I like to go and right click drop down to duplicate layer that is creating a duplicate layer and there you go you see new layer copy right above it I like to add a little bit of dark into mine and to make it look more gothy now that is how you color the template if you want to add something onto the template give it your own twist or spin then you go into your pictures where you have picked a picture Google is your best friend when trying to find pictures I'm going to go and I'm going to choose the skull paper right there. Now, <clears throat> this is a little bit harder to do because you have to learn how to new use a new tool. Go up here to your toolbox. One, two, three, fourth one from the left is called your fuzzy select tool. It's a little wand with a yellow tip on it. Now you want to start selecting the image that you want to copy. To do it multiply, hold your shift key down so that way you can select and keep selecting just like if you were selecting files on your computer alright I've got everything everything selected on the skull I'm gonna right click it now I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna click copy I'm gonna make a new layer on my template over here and then I'm gonna click right click it click edit and I'm gonna click paste now if you notice I've got a little skull there in the center of my screen right there I'm gonna go back over to my toolbox I'm gonna click the four directional arrow which is called your move tool I'm gonna move my little skull guy over into the center of my template right here I'm gonna move my cursor out and I am going to anchor it down there you go now you have a little skull in the middle of your tank top and it's ready to be saved you go up to file click save as and then you name it I'm gonna name this one dusty skull you can name it anything you want just as long as you make sure you have TGA as your file extension TGA is what ensures in GIMP that you have a transparent background then I'm going to click save I'm going to click on the word export because it will merge my visible layers and then I'm going to click on the RLE compression make sure that box is checked and I'm going to click the button save and there you go. You have colored and designed a shirt tank top for Second Life. 